All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10.5, problem number 9. All right, so let's look at this problem. All right, so we want to find an equation for the conic that satisfy the given conditions. All right, so it's a hyperbola. All right, then you have a vertices at uh, negative 2, 2 and a 4, 2 and a foci at uh, negative 3, 2 and a 5, 2. All right, so let's uh, plot those points first. All right, so here is the uh, x core x axis, and here is the uh, y axis here. All right, and then you have uh, let's see negative two comma two, so it's uh, let's see one two, so here's negative two comma one two, so it's a two there. So we have a point um, there. So you have a point uh, there. All right. Then another point would be uh, 4, 2. So it's going to go to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's still at 2. So it's going to be a uh, point right there. All right. Then we're going to, uh, let's see, full side would be negative 3, 2. So it's going to go here. So this is negative 3 and comma 2 so this is that all right so here looks like there's some uh, uh shifting going on or maybe i'll use a red one for the focus and uh, the other one is at um uh, five comma two so here's five and the comma two so this is going to be th the other focus so sitting right here all right so it looks like I'm going to just uh, draw a, a ballpark picture of the uh, hyperbola. So it's going to be uh, looking kind of like this. All right? And the other, the other piece is going to probably look kind of like that. All right? And uh, you can uh, definitely see some uh, shifting uh, going on there. So I'm going to draw, um, I'm going to put the um, uh, axis, um, pretending that uh, this is going to be the x-axis because it's going to be, because uh, focus, a uh, foci is going to be right on the x-axis. So pretend that this is going to be x-axis, kind of shifted, shifted, shifted one. And the y-axis should be right in the middle, so it's between negative 2 and 4. Right in the middle would be uh, positive 1. So let's say, pretend that this is going to be the um, y-axis, right? So if, um, you know, those were the axis, we, uh, let's try to come up with the equation, right? So uh, in order to find the equation, uh, we need to come up with uh, a and b value because the equation is going to be in the form of x squared plus uh, a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. And remember that for hyperbola, uh, focus and the AB has this uh, relationship. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. All right. So let's uh, find those values. All right. So A is just going to be the distance here. So it's uh, uh, between 1 and 4. So we know that uh, A is going to be definitely 3. All right. So we got that. And uh, C is going to be the distance from here to the fo focus. So that's going to be C is equal to 4. All right? So we can actually use the equation to find the B value. So from here, uh, B is going to be basically square root of, right? We've got to do a C squared minus A squared. All right? In this case, uh, C is 4. So 4 squared, 16. A is 3, so 3 squared is 9, so we're going to get the square root of 7. All right? Then we have this equation, all right? x squared over all right, a squared, uh, a was 3, so it's going to be 9, minus y squared over b square root of 7, so b squared would be 7, is equal to 1. All right? So though this is the equation uh, uh, without the shifting. All right, so we have to shift a little bit. All right, so originally it's going to be here, so we have to shift it uh, to the right one unit and upward 
uh, two units, right? So we can do that, right? So this is going to be, so we have to shift uh, uh, right one unit, right? Because you have to go this way, and then shift up two units. So we are going to shift up two units. Right, you know, to shift right, I'm gonna do what uh, x minus one squared, and uh, nine stays the same. Minus, you know, to go up, we're gonna have to do y minus two squared over seven is equal to one. All right, so this is the equation that uh, we're looking for. So let's uh, type it in. All right, so we're gonna get uh, let's see uh, quantity x minus 1 squared and then over uh, 9 minus quantity y minus 2 squared and over 7 is equal to 1. All right. So uh, let's uh, submit for testing. All right. I came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.